my finishing shop. Today we're going to be top coating a piece we've been working on for several days now. We have a piece of um, flooring, hickory flooring, and we've oxidized it. We've done polymerized tongue oil sealer on it, and we've done a base stain and an antiquing layer over it. And just to show you how far we've come, this is where we are now, and this is where we started. In four days, you can take a piece of wood and take it from this to this, which is pretty amazing. So let's go ahead. We're gonna just top coat this piece today with polymerized tongue oil, low luster, and it's a very simple application. You don't need to stir the oil. There's no flattening agent in it at all. You can use, in this instance, you can use a foam brush, you can use a china bristle brush, or if it were a small piece like this, you can just use a blue shop towel. Um, I'm gonna probably use my brush, my little brush here, because I'm used to this. It's not uncommon when you are top coating with a clear coat over a piece that has been previously stained for you to lift some of the color off. So oftentimes we'll just tint our top coat so that the net effect of what we're putting down and pulling off is about the same. This piece has been sitting for a few days so I'm not anticipating that I'm gonna see a lot of that. So if I could do time-lapse photography, what I would basically say is I get this nice, even, not, not too generous, but enough coat on there. And then I'm going to wait probably between five and 10 minutes and or prior to it tacking up. And then I'm gonna just wipe it completely dry and let it cure. So we'll pretend that that's, um, that's what occur has occurred at this point. And I've got my blue shop towel. And you can see some of our stains coming off there. So that's typical, you expect to see that. The nice thing about adding stain to every layer is it tends to build a really nice depth in the color. We always say that the top coat animates the stain, which is true, it gives it more depth. We're not gonna get a lot of sheen out of the two or three coats that we're gonna do with this because we're looking for a low luster. And that's how it should look when you're done. You'll see a little bit of material on there, but nothing is wet, pretty dry. And we're gonna let it sit for 24 hours before we recoat it again. Great, glad you came by. See you the next time.